Hey guys, what's going on? Professor here, and today I'm coming at you with another LEGO Brickheads review video. Today we're going to be going over the Mickey Mouse Brickhead. This was given set number 41624 and Brickhead number 66. And as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. And if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into this one. As you can see, this is recommended for ages 10 and up, comes with 109 pieces and retailed for $10 back in 2018. Front of box here looks very nice. It has the iconic Mickey yellow color in the background there. You also, right under all this information, see this kind of 90 years of uh, 90 year anniversary of Mickey kind of logo right there. I really like that they put that on there. But otherwise, you get a nice look at the front of this brick head, which, in my opinion, is probably one of the most basic of the uh, four Disney or the five Disney brick heads that were released. That's probably the most basic. Not that that's a bad thing, but uh, there isn't a ton going on with him. So you do get a nice basic look at the front right there. Moving on to the back, uh, as you can see, just like the mini brick head from last week, this box does have a thumb tab, which is unfortunate because you can see that this kind of ruins the box there a little bit. Um, but however, uh, irregardless of that, on the back side here, you do get a look once again at the brick head, kind of a different side-ish view alongside the stand. And then you also get to see Mickey and Minnie Mouse next to each other right there. Minnie Mouse I did last week a review of. And then over on this side, just like all the other boxes, you get a look at the actual character, what he's supposed to look like. And so we'll be comparing the brick head to that at the end once I talk about him a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at Mickey. All right, so checking out Mickey here, just from the first glance, he does look very similar to Minnie, just like I said earlier though, a lot more simple because there isn't as much detailing that needs to be done. The face is almost the exact same. I actually don't really think that there's anything different aside from the fact that um, up here, this piece does not have the eyelashes on it. It's just a regular tan piece. Um, but otherwise, the head and everything all around it is the exact same. You have the same sort of things. Uh, very similar building techniques with the uh, plates right up here, which I did say that I really like from the mini build They have these plate pieces that you just attach right up here to make it look like his ears Which I really love and then also they use this whip piece right back here as the tail Which is something that I also like uh, but otherwise the head is the exact same uh, Also no bow because that is not something that Mickey has uh, and then right here in his chest area, instead of having the polka dot address, he has this nice red brick with these two printed white dots on here. Uh, very nice that, like I said, brick heads, they always use printed pieces as opposed to stickers. Uh, I much prefer that. And then all the way around, he has his uh, white, or not white, sorry, his uh, red pants on. And then his iconic white gloves right there. And then he also has his uh, orange yellow shoes. It's difficult to tell here in the video, but his shoes here are actually more of a darker orange color as opposed to minis, which were more yellow. If you watched that video from last week. So these ones are a little darker and more of an orange color as opposed to yellow, but uh, it does still have that sort of orange yellow color in there. Comparing the brickhead to the actual uh, character here, you can see on the left, it I mean, it's very accurate. There really isn't too much that they strayed off from. You got the ears, the face looks very good. Like uh, you can see right here, his pants have the two white dots on there that are printed on there. The shoes look very accurate. You have the tail, the hands. This is actually uh, a very simple yet good, uh, well executed brick head um, for what Lego was trying to do here. I feel like they recaptured this character as well as they could at the time in brickhead form and is definitely uh, one of my favorites from the Disney line. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. There isn't a ton to talk about when it comes to this brickhead, a super simple brickhead, definitely one that if somebody's looking to get into brickheads, a very uh, popular character to go after uh, and one that I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy putting together. But guys, that'll be it for this one. As always, if you did enjoy, don't forget to go down and hit that like button. And if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.